cycle one, week 20. I just recorded this whole thing where I showed you my project. And my completed project is back here drying. See the globe? And it didn't record, so I'm so frustrated. So I'm just going to have to talk it through because I can't make another one. <sighs> I think it'll be okay, though. Okay, so week 20 is layers of the geosphere which is in the foundations guide. And CC says we can either do a styrofoam ball project or a Play-Doh project. There's probably other projects out there that you can find on Facebook, but those are the two that they request that they suggest. And so we do the styrofoam ball one. <sighs> so frustrated. Okay, so the instructions for doing this project, um, somebody else three years ago made these pictures. And so I turned these pictures into materials and instructions um, there are these little labels, these lovely labels that you can print and, and cut out. So I put the instructions and all the little labels that you can print into one document and I um, uploaded them into a Google folder that I'm going to share with you that you can go and download them. So you're not requesting to edit it, you're downloading them. So that's going to be in the description of this video. So the instructions and all the lovely labels, okay? So I printed all those and this is what the project is. So I have yarn and tissue paper that I bought three years ago. This tissue paper, you wouldn't have even known anybody used it. It will last so, so long because you just don't need very much tissue paper to cover these four inch styrofoam balls. So it's well worth the investment and your storage um, to use it again. So here's an old one that um, this is same, but it's dry. So I'm going to show you this one. So Oh, wait, hang on. Let me show you my styrofoam ball first. Oh, I used it. Here's another one. Hang on. Okay, so four inch styrofoam balls are what these are. Uh, three years ago, I bought whole balls and then I cut them, which was time consuming and very messy. And you know, styrofoam is so hard to clean up because it's so lightweight and staticky. So I made a note to myself, doesn't matter what it costs, just buy balls that are already in half. So that's what I did this year. The balls I bought are already half size. And yes, they're more expensive, but well worth your time and effort to get those. So the styrofoam ball. Okay, so I use liquid glue and stick glue. And to use the liquid glue, because we're going to be attaching, um, it's really nice and easy if you just get a plate and pour some school glue out on it and use an old paintbrush to brush on um, the styrofoam ball. So that's, that's what I did. And then you also are going to have construction paper. I recommend going ahead and pre-drawing circles onto, these are the different layers of the Earth's crust and surface or whatever. Um, so I recommend going ahead and pre-drawing the circles so that kids can just cut them out. Here's my little tiniest one. Um, but you could also have big kids draw their own circles, you know, do whatever you want there. Okay, so I'll show you what I did. I'll sort of simulate it. So you're going to start with your, with your styrofoam ball. You're going to paint glue all over it and then cover it with blue tissue paper. So you could sort of, you can they, just tell them they can rip it up to size and it can fold over. That's fine. Hang West, Weston, just hang on, okay? They can keep painting it where they need more. The wetter it is, it definitely breaks, but I mean, if it breaks, you just get a little bit more and touch it up. So it's not that big of a deal if it breaks. Once they've got it covered in blue, they're gonna use some green to create land. And you know, it doesn't matter if it doesn't look like an actual, hey buddy, can you give me a few minutes, please? It doesn't matter if it looks like an actual continent or not. It's going to look like, the, the no one will mistake this for I mean, everyone will know that this is supposed to be the globe, so just tell everyone to not worry if it doesn't look exactly right. So that part is going to take you a little while to get all that on, and um, try not to use too, too much glue so that your tissue paper doesn't just totally break, but you're going to end up with something like this, and then you'll, you'll use your little biosphere and hydrosphere labels to put on those parts, and then you can flip over to this side. So you're going to cut out all your all your circles from the construction paper, have the kids do that. To put on this brown layer, which is the crust layer, you're going to want to use your liquid glue. The stick glue just isn't going to get into the grooves of the styrofoam very well. 
So have them really coat that layer with um, school glue, put on the brown piece, and then now we're just doing paper on paper, so stick glue works just fine. So go ahead and um, stick glue the rest of the layers on, then stick glue the um, each of the labels on, and then you might set that aside for a minute while you start working on the string. So cut some yarn for everyone. Um, if, if the globe is not too, too wet, you could go ahead and attach it with a paper clip. So basically I opened a paper clip halfway, kind of made it more like a hook, and then I really hooked it in. If you can imagine, if you put it in straight, it's just gonna come right back out as soon as there's any kind of pressure hanging. So try and keep it hooked and kind of hook it down in there. And then it's really, it's gonna stay and it's gonna be nice and secure. So you can see how, um, I don't know if you can see it super well, but it's just, it's just a paper clip that I tied some yarn around. And then we put on our labels. So these labels, this is the, this set of labels is for one student and you see um, it says troposphere, troposphere because the deal is they are, here's the troposphere, they are folding it. They're folding it, putting the yarn in the middle of the fold and then gluing it down. So it can't actually move, it doesn't need to move. but So that's what they're gonna do for all of these. They're gonna cut these strips out fold them over, glue them shut around the yarn, and then they have all these layers hanging out. And the last one is this, this final label that just says what this project is. Um, and you could, you could tie a lovely little hook at the end so that they can easily hold it if you want to, but um, it's a great little project. It should take you the entire time. Um, have fun with it, because it, it's, it's a keeper. I think kids will keep this kind of thing for a long time. So enjoy.